Before the world knew about T-Rex or Megalodon, there existed a creature so horrifying, so colossal, that even prehistoric crocodiles were nothing but a snack to it. This monster didn't just hunt, it dominated the ancient rainforests. Its name, Titanoboa. And today, you're going to meet the deadliest snake to ever exist. A real creature that no one ever told you about in school. The story begins in 2009, deep in the scorching coal mines of Sarahan, Colombia. Miners were digging through layers of ancient earth when they stumbled upon something that didn't belong to their world. Massive vertebrae, bones so huge that researchers initially believed they had discovered the remains of a gigantic prehistoric crocodile. But when Dr. Jason Head from the University of Nebraska-Lincoln and a team of scientists from the Smithsonian Tropical Research Institute analyzed the fossils, they uncovered a shocking truth. These bones didn't belong to a croc. They belonged to the largest snake ever to crawl the earth. This wasn't just a big snake. This was a predator over 42 feet long, weighing more than 1,100 kilograms. Imagine a snake longer than a school bus, as wide as an oil drum, capable of crushing the strongest bones with terrifying force. Dr. Jonathan Block and Dr. Carlos Jaramillo, two leading paleontologists who spent years reconstructing the ecosystem of the Sarajan rainforest, confirmed that Titanoboa's environment was a humid, dense jungle with swamps and rivers where the temperature regularly exceeded 32 degrees Celsius. Why is this temperature so important? According to the 2009 research published in Nature Journal, the snake's monstrous size was only possible because of the Earth's superheated climate following the dinosaur extinction. Titanoboa's size is a living thermometer of Earth's ancient past. In fact, the research suggests that if the Earth warms to those levels again, cold-blooded reptiles could begin to grow much larger than we see today. But let's dive deeper into Titanoboa's hunting style. This snake didn't strike with venom like cobras or rattle its tail like pit vipers. No, Titanoboa was a master of silent death. It used stealth, ambush, and raw muscle power. Fossilized remains of prehistoric crocodiles, like the species Sarajona suchus, have been found with broken ribs and crushed skulls, injuries that match the constriction pattern of a giant snake. Titanoboa would lurk in the murky swamps, wait for its prey to approach, then, in a flash, coil its enormous body around its victim and squeeze with relentless pressure. Imagine the sound of bones snapping like twigs under its immense strength. This wasn't a battle. It was immediate death. The Smithsonian Channel's documentary, Titanoboa Monster Snake, later confirmed the terrifying reality of this snake. Their life-sized replica toured museums worldwide, leaving visitors stunned by the sheer scale of this ancient killer. Titanoboa didn't just rule the jungle, it owned it. But Titanoboa wasn't a freak accident. It was a product of a unique moment in Earth's history. After the asteroid wiped out the dinosaurs, the world was healing, and the rainforests of ancient Colombia became the perfect breeding ground for giants. Titanoboa shared its territory with enormous turtles, ancient fish, and crocodile species that would struggle to survive today. But even monsters have weaknesses. As the Earth's climate began to cool, the Sarajan rainforest shrank, and the warm temperatures that allowed Titanoboa to grow so large slowly disappeared. The species couldn't adapt to the colder world. It vanished silently, its bones buried in layers of mud and stone for over 60 million years. News outlets around the world exploded with coverage when Titanoboa's discovery was officially announced. Articles from National Geographic, BBC News, CNN, and the New York Times described it as the largest snake ever known, bigger than any living species by an extraordinary margin. The discovery not only redefined our understanding of snake evolution, but also raised urgent questions about how climate shapes life. What makes Titanoboa even more terrifying is the reminder it leaves us. If ancient climates could grow monsters of this size, what happens if our modern Earth heats up again? Will today's snakes, reptiles, and predators grow bigger, faster, deadlier? Titanoboa is more than just a fossil. It's a warning. It's a window into a lost world of giants. And it's a story that no one explained to you before, not like this. So the next time you hear about giant snakes or prehistoric monsters, remember? Titanoboa was real. It crushed crocodiles. It swallowed them whole. It ruled without challenge. 
and it vanished, waiting in silence until we unearthed its terrifying legacy. Subscribe to uncover more ancient monsters. Because the past? The past is scarier than you think.